Hey everybody, it's Jake Brown from General RV and welcome back to the fourth day of our virtual RV show. If you guys have not yet, please go to our website, generalrv.com slash virtual RV show. Make sure you register for email updates as well as a chance to win some great prizes. Today, Matt and Andrea from Matt's RV Reviews is gonna walk you guys through the brand new 2021 Holiday Rambler Endeavor. Let's have a look. Thanks, Jake. Hey, everyone. I'm Matt. I'm Andrea. And today I'm super excited. We're taking a look at the 2021 Holiday Rambler Endeavor Model 38W. Matt, I am so excited. I heard they have changed the interior in this motorhome. They have done a complete paradigm shift. Let's get started with the inside, then we'll take a look at the outside. I can't wait. This might be my favorite interior. This interior is absolutely <laughs> beautiful. It's the residential style, it's the home style, it's bright, it's light, it is absolutely incredible. Now Andrea, I know you're getting excited. I am. But this is a diesel pusher, so we're starting up front with the absolutely. cockpit area. Oh, I'm so excited about this. Now, this does have the new digital dash. This is a Freightliner chassis. 360 horsepower, 800 foot pounds of torque. You have that digital dash right here. I feel like a commander. I got a screen right here on this side, the new transmission that you adjust with your fingers right there. And Andrea, you know what makes a diesel pusher? Absolutely. What's that? People get out of your way. Cause we got <laughs> the air horn. <laughs> I love that. I love it too. And then just in case you're not in your own lane, we do have the mobile eye collision mitigation. How's the co-cap seat it's, feel? It's really comfortable and I'm really happy because they swivel and this has a footrest. Not only that, it's a fully power seat right there. It is so comfortable. Awesome. We do have an LG TV above and now the diesel pusher started adding this bunk over the cab. Let's see what that looks like when it's all the way down. Now the max weight on this, I believe it's 500 pounds. It sure is. Yes, so it is. They call this the along. This is nice. Now it Very is a nice. thin mattress, but there is springs underneath this, so it is pretty comfortable. That's a great feature. And look at this, a three-seater sofa. Yes. I like that. Not only that, that sofa does have three seatbelts in it, and it does pull out to make it to hide a bed. This motorhome can sleep a lot of people. Wow, beautiful cabinetry, and they do have adjustable shelves in here. Mm -hmm. Let me get over here so our viewers can see. Also, they have the televator right here. Right there. Now, while this is coming up, why don't you show yes. everybody this? Across, the theater seats. Across from the TV, as you can see, there's recliner seats right here. So you have a perfect view of the television. You can sit back, relax. You have a cup holder here. And do you know what that little metal disc thing is? I believe you have the option to add like a table. Yep, a little table yes. if you want a place to put your laptop. And then look at this. This TV comes all the way up. It is a Samsung TV wow. and it is supported with a JBL sound system. That is excellent. Now, Andrea, we have three air conditioning units in this motorhome. And this motorhome is 40 feet long, so to have three AC units. That's that, a big deal. It's overkill. Absolutely. And I like overkill. It's good for AC. Oh. Nice, very nice. Lots of storage. I love the cabinets. You know what? I really like they gave you a standing table with the, cha with the chairs. Yep, now it does seat two. And when you do have guests, you just pull out and you have four seats and there is two other yes. fold up chairs in the bedroom. Okay. I love that. Also, Andrea, a nice little feature. This right here <gasps> drops down wow. and you have a little workstation. That Very is nice. great. And again, plenty of storage here. They did a great job with that. Matt, I really like that they gave you a fireplace as well. Absolutely. That's beautiful. Nice fireplace with that painting right there. Show everybody this kitchen. Okay, here we go to the kitchen, everybody. We got a pull-out peninsula. Absolutely. They gave you some pretty drawers here. And I love this backsplash. Look at that. You have a panoramic window with that pretty backsplash. We've got a convection whirlpool microwave. Wow. wow. 
Look at that. They also gave you a two burner induction cooktop. Yep, Andrea, there is no propane on this motor. Wow. So we got some cabinets there and a big drawer here. Now, Matt, I am really excited about this. Look at this. It's a dishwasher. Wow, very <laughs> nice. Now, they have definitely gave you all the comforts of home. You have a nice big sink right there. Absolutely. Two bowl sink. Very nice. We got this for our sponges. We got a place for our trash can there. And look at this pantry. Wow, it's, it's got these trays. That's a great feature. Absolutely. And then you have more room down here, everybody. Look at that. That's that's fantastic. Yep. Not as fantastic as that fridge, though. I agree. Look at that nice big residential fridge. Whirlpool. Uh-huh. Now, this is a great residential size. Runs off your inverter, everybody. What I like about this is it locks. So when you're driving, you just put that down. You don't need to worry about anything flying out at you. Yep. And even though this is a diesel pusher, they're still able to make it bath and a half. Wow. Now, this is your half bath. And it is a little small and a little tight, but you still have a sink, medicine cabinet, and you have a nice toilet. And again, little cramp, but not too much. It is just a half bath. The bathroom in the rear is even bigger and better. Great. Moving into the master bedroom that's on a beautiful pocket door here. Yes. So we do have the one full wall slide, and then there's another slide right here. And that's how you're able to get this nice big king size bed and all the space in the Absolutely. Bedroom. So you have two wardrobes. Yep. You have one here. I like that it has the shelves. So I'll open this one so you guys can see. There's your two chairs for the dining table. And then you get all this. Look at these drawers, all this space. Very nice. It's amazing. I'll open one more. And then we got our TV up here. No storage. LG TV. Nice. And then this bed, what's a great feature is when you're laying in bed, there's a button underneath. And if somebody knocks on your door, you hear something on the outside, you push that button and it will access your cameras so you can see if anybody's walking around your motor. Wow, that's, that is awesome. Finishing up with this master bathroom. I love it. Check oh, out that shower. Okay, so we can move this. Okay, it's a nice shower. Oh wow, it's got a lot of height in here, you guys. There is a seat, so if you need to sit, that's great. And it's a one piece fiberglass shower. Good to know. Right over here in the bathroom, you have not one, but two sinks. You got, everybody has their own individual uh, pantry space. That's or a, really nice. Not pantry, medicine cabinet. <laughs> this is nice though, look at that, isn't that pretty? Yep, beautiful designs. Holiday Rambler really stepped up their game. Perfect. Very nice, square sinks are really cute. Oh, you know what, that looks good with the lights underneath the it sink. It sure does, with the white cabinets and the nice metal handles. Absolutely, let's see that toilet. Yes, four drawers. And this toilet here, again, when you're in a diesel and you're on the angle, I have all the space in the world, all the comforts of home. Yes. A lot of times with the motor home, you're sacrificing size. I'm glad you don't need to sacrifice in the bathroom. Very nice. And then Andrea. What's this? Uh-oh. Whirlpool. Whirlpool washer and dryer. Stackable washer and dryer. I absolutely love that. Wow. Andrea. It really is a home. <laughs> it sure is. It's a home on wheels. Yes. And the interior features are great but the outside features are just as impressive. Let's go take a look. All right. All right. Here we go with the outside. Absolutely. So the outside features, let's start up front. You do have a Cummins Onan 8000 diesel generator. I absolutely love that. Nice, huge windshield. And look at one of the new features. They put the windshield wipers up top this year instead of having them come from the bottom. You have these nice bus style mirrors. Also, the cameras are integrated in the left blinker, right blinker, and reverse. Beautiful full body paint job. I New, really like the colors a lot. Absolutely. New for 2020 and 2021 is the Titan Bridge chassis. And what they managed to do, they raised up the storage just a little bit on the exterior, and that gives you a nice straight slide out so you're not bumping your head once you're looking underneath. All right, we got storage, look at that. Nice aluminum slam latch doors. Beautiful. Nice, we have the storage with the, more. is it the Morai tray? Yes, Morai slide out tray. 
you can access this on both sides. Very nice. I'm a huge fan of that. And it closes very easily. Got to push the yellow in. Yep. There you go. And we got another one. Absolutely. More storage right there. Tons of interior storage, but even more exterior storage. You have a nice big LG TV on the outside. Frameless windows throughout this whole motorhome. And you do have a nice power awning with LED lights. Okay, got some more storage. Just wow. a little bit more. And over here is where your central vac is. Battery control center and surge guard protector. Awesome. We do have these nice Michelin tires, Andrea. These are the 275-80 R22.5, and I love the chrome rims. Right here, again, utilizing every square inch of storage. You, if there's a spot for storage, they'll make it. And then right there, we do have your Magnum inverter. All right. For your residential refrigerator. And over here, we have a little bit more storage. Yep. And very nice. Coming around the back, we have a nice rear fiberglass cap. 10,000 pound hitch. This motorhome can tow 10,000 pounds. One of the advantages of having a diesel pusher. I love the nice big tail lights and... We got our backup camera right there. Yep, absolutely. Coming around the side. Look at that. There's your batteries. Yes. Batteries right there. Little bit more batteries. DEF right there. Again, Andrea, no propane on this coach. That is great. Everything runs off the battery and the diesel. Now, this has got to be our wet bay. Sure is. Oh, look at that. Nice and clean and simple. Not only that, it has a 50 amp power cord with a reel. Now, we are utilizing this power cord, but once we're done, all we have to do is push that button and the power cord reel will take that heavy 50 amp power cord and reel it back in. Okay, everybody. This is just the other side of the storage. Yep. And then here's what provides you with the heat. It is an Aqua Hot 400D water heater. 400. Finishing up, we have just a little bit more storage there with your blinker fluid and everything. Thank you guys so much for checking in to the virtual RV show. Make sure you stop by one of our 13 locations nationwide. We're running the show from now until the end of the month. And if you can't get into one of our locations, make sure you give General RV a call. Or check us out online at GeneralRV.com. Jake, back to you. Thanks, Matt and Andrea. Make sure you guys stick around for more RV tours. We'll see you on the lot. The feeling of the open road, it's like, an exhale. It's an exhale from the crazy pace of life. You feel reconnected with what's important in your family, what's important for you. I mean, like, I just had the sweetest moment just like watching the kids. I could feel the joy exploding out of them as soon as we strapped them in the RV. Like, I could feel it. My name is Willie, and I'm married to my beautiful wife, Jane. She's awesome. And we've got three beautiful little children, Eden, Isaac, and Ember. And we love spending time in the outdoors together. Camping has been, in some ways with the kids, a labor of love. But we are willing to go through whatever it takes to get them to love it. Imagine three kids in a tent, weather conditions that you really have no control over. I mean, it's kind of like the perfect storm. We just knew there had to be a better way. And RV camping is the better way. I slept in a bed and I woke up and I'm here in nature and it just is awesome. And the kids are happy. They're eating what they want to eat. They're enjoying themselves. It's a game changer. I've seen a lot of the world, but I had never seen anything like here in White Sands in New Mexico. We were just blown away. My kids, they loved it. One, like to watch them just rolling in the sand. They were making sand angels. They were sledding down the hill, plastered on smiles, ear to ear grins. It was just awesome. With the RV experience, the thing that's amazing is that, that you don't have to worry about I gotta get to the hotel at this time, I gotta check in at this time, I gotta worry about checking out at this time. 
you just get in your vehicle and you can just go and there's no time constraints. You can stop when you want to stop. You can sleep when you want to sleep. Everything is right there. It's amazing. There are so many places where we would love to go, places where we'd love to take our family and experience together. And so this is just the beginning and we're going to jump in an RV and we're going to go somewhere else. We just are going to experience life together on the road. Just being together in that space and like us just spending time together and being disconnected, it's like a reminder that the journey is actually what matters more than the destination. Who knew buying an RV could be so simple? We were just browsing our computer thinking about how to spend the summer. When an ad caught our attention, the great outdoors is calling. Sounds good. We clicked on it and discovered General RV, the premier RV dealer, over 6,000 RVs, 13 super centers. Soon we were in their virtual showroom. With all the videos and 3D tours, it felt like we were inside the RVs. Wow. 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 What does this do? This is amazing. I wonder if it's gas or diesel. That's a great question. This coach is a diesel, but if you're looking for gas, I have plenty of other options to show you. Plus, we offer home, home delivery. delivery. How could this get any easier? This RV is perfect for us. We were ready to start our RV adventure. So, so we, we did. did. And sure enough, our new RV was in our driveway in no time. After our personalized RV demo, we were handed the keys and ready to go camping. Who knew buying an RV could be so simple? Hey, welcome back guys. Up next, our very own Tom Bennett is gonna give you guys an exclusive look of the brand new 2021 American Coach Eagle. Let's have a look. Thanks, Jake. Hi, folks. I'm Tom Bennett with the General RV, and we're up here at American Coach. Got Mike right here, and we're going to take a sneak peek at what's really an unfinished RV. It's still in construction. The guys at American Coach were nice enough to let us take a look, but it's a brand new 2021 anniversary edition American Eagle 45K, and I can't tell you how excited I am to see it. We're going to go take a look at a few things inside, then come outside and talk about a few things there. Let's take a look. Wow. First thing you notice when you walk in is the woodwork. Absolutely beautiful. It's this hydro dipped wood. It's the best stuff there is. And let me tell you, does it shine? Looks fantastic. And this is the black liquid Denali, liquid um, Denali wood inside. Yeah, decor here is just truly amazing. You have the apex furniture with, he with heated seats, motorized recliners. You have lights and USB chargers built in right here. Um, these are right across from your TV as well. And you have another couch here, which has a sleeping arrangement as well. I'd like to start off talking about the chassis and dash equipment up here first. So if you'd like to take a seat. So of course, this is on the Liberty Bridge Foundation on an SL605 chassis, meaning it has the 605 horse ISX engine. It's as big as they make. It's got 1950 for torque and just absolute power when you need it. Also a 4000 series transmission. Now with what you see up here, you have the OptiView digital dash system. So when you have that on there, it'll show you all of your uh, different features and speedometer, tire pressure monitoring, all in an easy to read spot right there. You have a controller for your three stage engine brake and your transmission right here. Of course, you can do your turn signal on the left side there. One thing that's really nice about the right here is that it has an active adaptive air system. So as you're driving down the road, the air leveling system is going to make sure that your level is exactly right. So no matter where you take this thing, it's going to adjust to fit the road near perfect. You've got the big independent front suspicion, suspension system, a V-ride rear axle, and then that steerable tag. So at 45 feet, this is a very nimble, easy to maneuver RV. It's going to make your driving experience fantastic. Now you have two panels right here. These are your Excite information system panels. Um, 
very easy to, to operate any way you like. You can customize this to have navigation over here and cameras here or vice versa. It has a split screen and also it has a 360 view camera system. Yeah, essentially, there's no blind spots around this whole 45 foot unit. Absolutely not. And if you see right here, it will actually show you a top view of the RV and everything that's around you. That's part of that 360 um, system makes it very easy to maneuver and park and just to see everything that's around you. Also up front you have a mobile eye collision avoidance system. So that has lane departure tracking, it has a, a tracker for, for car lengths of the vehicle in front of you, um, and then an infrared tracker. All safety features that make this RV safe and easy to operate. Um, also you have adjustable pedals, you have a steering wheel that tilts and telescopes, um, and then in the 2021 model year, there's also an option for Roadwatch, which is an adaptive cru cruise control system that um, also has active braking. So the Roadwatch is going to actually control your, your brakes, where the Mobile Eye is just going to be a visual and audio alert. Yes, video and audio with the Mobile Eye, but the Freightliner component Roadwatch system is, is adaptive cruise control, just like you have in a high-end vehicle these days, um, has now finally made it to RVs. So, all right, let's take a look in the living room here. We talked a bit about the furniture and your layout here. This layout itself has a wonderful kitchen area. You see you have this fixed portion here. This is all solid quartz all the way around. This year um, we got the uh, waterfall pull out as well, which is very nice looking. Looks fantastic, I absolutely love it. Um, also, you have the big farmhouse sink, and I understand this is still in, in construction here, so you yeah. have to um, take in mind here that it, it's not fully set up being still being made, but. Um, a really large farm style sink, lots of counter space all the way around. This is recessed and has covers too, so plenty of storage as well. I believe this is the dishwasher as well. Yeah, double knock there. There you go. What kind of feature we got here? There you go. Yeah, here's your dishwasher. I love how they finish the front with that hydro dipped wood as well. Just really looks great. And some extra storage on this side. Um, even in the cabinetry you have for your drawers. This is dovetailed, all solid woods all the way around. True quality and craftsmanship is something that we that's, all really that's appreciate. That's correct. You got to worry about having stapled drawers where you're going to have to pull them and their fronts are going to come off. So here's just a really cool feature. <laughs> um, all Samsung appliances and electronics all the way around, but you actually have the um, the screen door here. With the inverter's probably not on right now, so we're probably not going to have power going to the <laughs> The refrigerator. Pop thing on. Um, one thing I want to point out for you here is that you have a Firefly multiplex wiring system right here. So this controls everything in the RV. Your Let's slides. Check on the generator real quick. We'll get access to that. Sounds good. Um, you have all motorized day night blinds that you can control right from here. Um, you also have the theater mode. You press one button and it drops everything into place. I think it's just a really cool feature. And one thing the American Eagle does have, we were talking about a moment ago, is it is a completely connected system. Meaning if you're 100 miles away from your RV, the Wi-Fi connectivity that you have built in here, you can turn your ACs on, you can make adjustments to this all from your cell phone, no matter where you are. It's the only thing like it, and I think it's really a great feature. No longer staying within that 40-foot Bluetooth range, controllable, as you said, anywhere. So while we're here with appliances, I think it's important to note, too, that this has a 600D Aqua Hot system. So that's a hydronic heating system that's made to uh, it, what's the best one they make it? It has electric and diesel fuel. It's a tankless hot water heater system and it's also a heating system using heat exchangers. So um, same humidity as the air you breathe. It makes it very comfortable and it's very accurate as to what uh, temperature you set. Yeah, typically a propane furnace is going to dry out the air. As you hit the humidity, it's going to stay the same. When you wake up in the morning, you're going to feel refreshed. You don't have that stuffed up feeling and the headaches when you get up from your sinuses agitating you. That is a big benefit of the Aqua Hot. Absolutely. So now that we have this on, I wanted to show you here that you have your touchscreen smart refrigerator here. Just a really cool feature. You know, you can be at the grocery store and take a look at the cameras in here and see exactly what you need to get. Of course, you can write this in here and do memos and everything else. I think it's just a really cool Put thing. Put pictures to have. of the kids up there, anything you want. It, I guess you can. They've came a long way. They certainly have. 
So moving back here, one thing I want to point out is that you have a fully tiled area. There is no carpet in this vehicle whatsoever. And part of how that is achieved is that you have an HWH hydraulic slide system built into the vehicle. So this, are, this slide lifts and comes in all hydraulic. It's reliable, easy to work on if you need to, and it allows for you to have a fully tiled RV. One thing I think is pretty great here as well is that they actually detail your tiles to match on both sides so it looks seamless. Um, that attention to detail is truly fantastic. Lots and lots of storage here. It's all matching hydro dipped wood just like you see up front. Some storage behind here as well. And you can see you have your safe built in there. So lots and lots of storage. Um, so if you have a full-time use or a long-term use planned, this is going to be an RV that accommodates literally everything you can imagine. Uh, moving back to the bathroom, I'd like to first point out your shower here. It's a fully tiled shower. You can see the marble built into the back. Just beautiful. It's got the long drain right there. So the nice hidden drain doesn't stand out as in a typical shower. Absolutely. And then you have the, the rainfall shower head right there as well as a normal uh, movable one there too. Uh, moving towards the back here, of course you got lots of storage built in and then a stackable Samsung washer dryer. I'm in the back of the RV here you have a full closet from end to end here. Um, you also see your additional chairs built in and there's a little spot over here for shoes. Really great amount of storage. Um, and then right behind you here you can see you have an exit door. So this will fold down. It has a nice place for you to put your feet as you walk down if you ever need to. And then here we go to the dual vanities. Nice big vanities, plenty of space in there. Really nice design in the, in the, the water heads there too. Very sleek, modern look. I like that. And it's the same quartz as you have everywhere else. It's just truly opulent. Okay, so let's take a look at a few things outside. Let's do it. So Mike, we talked a bit about the chassis at the steering wheel there, but I want to go over again about the Liberty Bridge Foundation. So what most RVs have is a raised rail platform. It's got those C-channel rails that come across there. They may weld some additional bracing, outriggers, things like that, and that's it. The Liberty Foundation is the only fully integrated chassis foundation in the industry. It utilizes I-beams in place of C-channel rails, so they're 30% stronger than, than what you typically see. What that means for you is, as you drive this RV thousands and thousands of miles, it's going to have less twist, which means fewer worries about cracked tiles or things twisting out of place and things like that. It's going to allow this motor that's made to go forever to actually have an RV that can last with it. Correct. You, you pair that, that uh, I-beam construction with those interlocking extrusions that we have at top and bottom, it just holds that structure so tight. It makes sure all of your drawers open up, your, your cabinets don't hit when you shut them. It just gives you all that added benefit and keeps your unit quiet and leak free. I, I can see why that's there. so important to, to folks looking at RVs like this because you don't make an investment in a vehicle like this without expecting it to have the longevity that you'd like to have That's with it. Right. So it makes a lot of sense to me. So some more about the Liberty Foundation. It's not just the I-beams, it's the entire length and width of the RV, a cage design. Um, it is built, not braced. So it allows for things like a center mounted uh, fuel tank. Most are gonna have a fuel tank right here at the front. You can see the fuel fills right up there. With it mounted in the middle, you don't have to worry about the RV ride changing, whether you have a full or an empty tank of fuel. I think that's a really nice piece of design. Also, it gives you a taller storage area. So these big pass-through storage bays you have right here, and take a look, are gonna be a little bit taller. And then another thing I would wanna point out here is that you have a motorized slide-out tray. And that makes getting your cargo a heck of a lot more easier. You're not crawling in no more, breaking your back to get what you got in the middle of your uh, basement. It's nice and easy. Both of them are motorized and it's just a real luxury feature. You don't have to worry about any of that stuff. Well, you got, while you're running that back in, what I like to point out is there's no carpet inside these luggage boxes at all, which makes it very nice, easy to clean. They're bright. You spill a tiki torch in here, it cleans so easy. You can spray it out with a water hose. That's the exact same material they're using in car washes. So that just tells you about how durable it is. Absolutely, and, and that's the fiberglass liner that you have on there. Correct. I'd like to also point that behind that fiberglass, this has a steel lined 
um, storage bay. So steel underneath um, and then fiberglass on top. Also the chassis, the Liberty Foundation is uh, what they call E-coated. So it's a powder coated chassis. It's made to handle things like salt, snow, anywhere you take the RV, it's going to be prepared to handle what you're running into. Um, the chassis itself. So with the Freightliner components, you have an axles. Your front axle, of course, is the ZF IFS independent front suspension axle with a wheel cut as much as 60 degrees. Your drive axle here is the V-Ride suspension. So what V-Ride suspension is, is it has these added torsion bars on top of the piece and then um, your actual, what do you call that thing on the bottom? Your uh, trailing arms. Your trailing arms yep. are five inch tubular steel. So the added strength in there is gonna give you better roll stability and uh, better sway. So anytime you might go over something that would make the RV uh, tip a little bit, it's gonna go right back to center and allow for your drive to be much more comfortable. And another benefit of that V-Ride while you're on that, Tom, is when you're going through the mountains and you're taking them curves, you can do them with confidence and speed. Um, typically, if you don't have that, you're gonna get your uh, unit to, to twist a little bit and it's gonna to wanna to drift outside your lane. So with the V-Ride paired with the Liberty Bridge, it essentially eliminates all of that. That's fantastic. Another part worth mentioning here is that this has ultra steer. Um, what that means is that it has a steerable tag axle. So that far tag axle in the back will actually turn with the RV, which gives you 17% better, um, or is it 17% better? 17% turn radius, yes. 17% better turn the radius. The actual so, wheel turns at 12 degrees. So even at 45 feet, you're gonna be able to park this RV anywhere you'd like to put it, and I think that's really a great feature. Side mounted radiator, of course. I'd like to show you something up front as well. The all new redesigned front cap of this RV truly looks fantastic. You have, um, and I understand it's still in construction here, so we have some stickers to take off, but it's got the chrome package. It has the top mounted mirrors. These top mounted mirrors are gonna give you better visibility as you're driving around, and also top mounted uh, windshield wipers. So you're working with the gravity right there. It makes it nice and easy to keep your, um, your window clean. Oh, yeah. And one thing with the American Coach in 2021, we're able to make all the American Coach have a similar look. Each product has its own defined look, but you can tell it's in the same family. And you get that a lot with products throughout the industry with like say a Porsche, a Jeep, you look at them, you know it belongs to that family. And that we can do that with our American Coach. Absolutely, it looks fantastic. Also behind here, you have a 12,500 watt generator. So anything you decide to run in the RV, it's gonna be nice and easy. I'm really impressed with this. I love the liquid Denali wood and all the features you have here. It truly doesn't get any better. So thanks again for talking with me here. Thanks for taking a look. Make sure you go to our website and check out our virtual RV show. We've got some very special pricing as part of that show going on right now. Um, and thanks again. Have a great day and back to you, Jake. Thanks, Tom. Make sure you guys stick around for more RV tours. We'll see you after this. Where I live is extremely busy and really loud. I live on a main street where there is morning rush hour traffic. I can smell exhaust. I can hear people walking their dogs. <laughs> when you're in the city, you just kind of lose touch of just things. Like everything is very routine. I love hiking and just being outdoors. So we wanted to get out of Chicago and spend more time relaxing in nature. Nate is first. I'm Chanel Tate, and this is the story of my first camping trip. <laughs> Usually when I wake up in the morning, first thing I do, unfortunately, is check my phone. And that, just being in the RV, not really having like that Wi-Fi accessible to you, is just like, okay, I realize where I am. Let me just put my phone down and just remember where I am and relax. When I go hiking, I feel free. It's something about being around trees that are so alive and the air is so clean and crisp. Mm -hmm. You know, like the rain smelled different, the ground was cool. Everything on the ground was its own little world. We both love to cook, but cooking over a campfire was a whole new level. I brought the entire cabinet of seasonings with me. Yeah, it's really good. Oh my god. <laughs> I 
I think that the highlight of this trip <laughs> was our fishing moment. It was probably one of the last things that we thought about doing. Oh my God. It's oh my God. Pull up, I'm trying to pull up. Oh my God. Oh, wait, here we go. Okay. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. That is a piece of love. <laughs> I've never been kayaking before, but Brittany had. It takes vulnerability to step outside of your comfort zone, but the payoff is incredible. So Moments like these with my sister is really, really memorable. Like you want to live life that way. It's have, you know, live, live to make memories. And that's what this trip has been about for me. Planning for your next family vacation? Enjoy a worry-free vacation by renting an RV from General RV Center, your premier rental partner. Our fleet of clean, non-smoking, current model year RVs can help take your family on the trip of a lifetime. Our friendly RV experts make the process simple. Once you've confirmed your reservation, we promise to have a clean and comfortable RV ready for you. We provide a comprehensive demonstration so you can travel with confidence. Plus, every RV includes full warranty coverage and a 24-hour support hotline for added peace of mind. Your adventure begins at General RV Center. Visit GeneralRV.com or call 888-548-9098 to speak to a rental expert. Hey, welcome back, everyone. Up next, Matt and Andrea are going to give you an exclusive look at the brand new 2021 Tiffin Wayfarer. We'll see you after this. Thanks, Jake. Hey, everyone. I'm Matt. I'm Andrea. And today we're taking a look at the 2021 Tiffin Wayfarer model 25RW. Now Matt, I am really excited to see this. Tiffin has great quality units. Not only that, with the combination of the Mercedes chassis, not only is this going to give you a quality motorhome, but a quality ride as well. Let's just get started and take a look at the inside. I'm so excited. <gasps> wow. Do you see how pretty that door handle is? This Absolutely. is gorgeous. Yes. This is just a small, compact motorhome. Some people refer to this as a B plus. Other people refer to it as classy. I don't care. It's small, it's sleek, it's nimble. It's going to be great for state and national parks. And when the slide out's open, you can see how spacious it is. And it's the best of both worlds. Absolutely. Let's begin with this new Mercedes cockpit. So, over the past six months, Mercedes has come out with the new chassis. And what it is, it, it has the 10 inch screen and it, this gives you all the features of the modern Mercedes. This has lane assist, adaptive cruise control, collision avoidance, collision mitigation. Not only that, this has power seats. How do your seats feel? Oh, it's really comfortable. Absolutely. I like the way this feels. Um, I feel a little bit elevated, but at the same time, I like that I can see everything and I'm comfortable. This is no different than driving a van. And here's what I love. These seats do swivel to become part of the living area and you have memory seats. So when I'm driving, I push the one and the seat conforms to me. When Andrea is driving, we push two and the seat confirm conforms to her. So she's comfortable driving. But not only that, there's a third button. Do you know why? I forgot. Uh, because when you push, what you do is you set the chair up so that it's easy to swivel around. And so when you're ready to swivel these to become part of the living area, you push number three, it adjusts all the way up, and then you just pull that switch and it will wow. turn around. Wow, that's a Very great awesome. feature. Absolutely. Now, because this is a class C, you do have the bunk over the cab, even though it's a smaller one, and it is so nice. It holds 250 pounds, and it's good for that occasional guest. And Matt, I gotta say, do you know what goes there? A table goes there. Yeah, and that's incredible because you don't really see that on motorhomes this small. Not this small, 100% right. 
So you do have an LG TV right there. Very nice. I like that it actually swivels out. Yep, and it is across from your theater seats. Nice. I love this. And again, another pedestal table here. Yep, yep, absolutely. Very nice. These are power seats, recliners, and I love how we're looking head on at the TV. Very comfortable. I love this cabinetry. Mm -hmm. I'm a big fan of this. The Very light nice. cabinets, you got the new modern look. Yep. They got the reading lamps. Very, very cute balances and privacy they have shades. the privacy shades. Yep. Check out that kitchen. The kitchen's gorgeous. Take a look at the LED lights. Cabinetry, look at that. Mm -hmm. Nice big cabinets. Lots of storage. They got a little pyramid of power. Mm -hmm. And we got the two burner Dometic cooktop. Look at this, Matt. Yep, just a little counter space. You Isn't can never have awesome? enough. Absolutely. And then we got three drawers here. Oh. And note the handle. <laughs> Very Andrea. classy. Soft closed drawers. Oh, yeah. I love that. Wow. Okay, they did give you a round sink. Very nice modern sink. I like that sink. It's good. Again, this is a small motorhome, but it's good to put a crock pot in oh, while you're driving down absolutely. the road. Absolutely. And you've got space down here for a trash can. It gave you a shelf. I do like the refrigerator. They give you a two-way refrigerator that is shore power and propane. Yep. And you know what? A lot of times on these small motorhomes, everybody, you will see a smaller fridge. Yep, absolutely. So it's good you have this one. You have a convection microwave up here. Mm -hmm. And then you're this, in the living room, bedroom area. This is interesting. Well, this is interesting. <laughs> so you have a sofa right here and directly across is your television, okay? Wow. What is so great about this sofa is that it does Murphy for your bed. Let me show everybody. You just take these cushions off. Flip the legs up. Oh, nope, not like that. <laughs> you flip it down. Perfect. Wow. And here's your bedroom. You just murphied your bed into the bedroom. <laughs> That's this incredible. Is nice. and it's a comfortable bed. It is very comfortable. It's a good size. And you have storage oh, above the bed right there. Very nice. Yep. And now you have the TV for your bedroom area. Let's get this raised up. And look, you push that button. Simple. No hassle. That's great. Yep. Why don't you show everybody that? Yeah, this is really interesting to me. I, I have not seen this layout before. Um, Got your sound bar up there. You got your panels, your TV. So you kind of have like a entertainment area along with your drawers and your wardrobe. Very nice. And then you have two cabinets here that you can use for hanging clothes or whatever you need. And to get finished oh, up that bathroom, how's my goodness. that shower on dry? This is what actually my favorite setups. I love it. A lot of height in here. I have plenty of room. You have the Nautilus door. Beautiful, beautiful sink area. Yep. And then let me check out that toilet placement. And there's a pocket door. Absolutely. And this toilet here sits at a really good angle. Listen, folks, small motorhome. That means you're going to have a tight bathroom. This is not tight at all. I have plenty of space. Oh, I love that sink. I bowl. know. And this is just a great, huge bathroom. Again, for such a small motorhome, I absolutely love that. Well, the inside features look great, but the outside looks even better, Andrea. Let's go take a look. Perfect. <laughs> okay. okay, let's check out this front. All right, let's start with the chassis area. Again, Mercedes chassis with all the new features, adaptive cruise control, brake assist and everything. Here's a really awesome feature, Andrea. These, when you make your turns, when you go uh, below 45 miles an hour and you turn, these lights will light up so you can see what's going on in front of you automatically. That's awesome. You know what I really like? What's that? The seamless fiberglass front cap. Absolutely. That's a really great feature about the uh, bunk over the cab. No seams means it's less likely to get a leak. I absolutely love this full body paint job. It looks great. We got Continental tires there. They are LT215-85R16. And what type of rims are those? Alcoa. Alcoa <laughs> rims. Now here's a great feature. Uh, you do have cameras or you do have your mirrors right here. 
and they actually have cameras incorporated inside of them. A lot of times when you get something on a Mercedes chassis, it will not give you left or right camera. Also, I totally forgot to mention, this does have the Bigfoot auto leveling. Wow. On a Class C motorhome this small, 99% of manufacturers won't put that on, so that's a great feature. Look at that storage. Nice storage. It also has a central vac. Very nice. Aluminum slam latch doors, and I like how they swing open sideways. Yes. We do have a Gerard armless awning with wind sensor, so if the wind blows too hard, the awning will automatically retract itself back in. Look at this water heater. Yep. Truma hot tank tankless instant hot water heater. And then right here's your Cummins Onan 3200 diesel generator. That is an option. Normally it will come with a propane generator. More and then storage. right here. Yep. And then that's a propane quick connect. If you want to have a propane grill for when you're camping, you're able to do that. Coming around the back, you have a nice fiberglass rear cap. I love that. 5,000 pound hitch on this motorhome. And up there, you see what that is? That is the backup camera. Backup camera. Also, we forgot to mention frameless windows throughout this whole motorhome. I'm really liking this little motorhome. It's awesome. I can't believe how much storage is on here. Over there, just a little bit of storage yeah, with your that. tanks and tank heaters. Look right. at this wet bay. Yep, that's where you dump your black and gray tank. Also, there's an outdoor shower right there. Right here. Wow. What's that, a little bit more storage? Yeah. And then right over there, you do have your propane tank. everybody for tuning in to the virtual RV show. We're running the show from now until the end of the month so make sure you stop by one of our 13 locations nationwide. And if you can't stop into General RV please give us a call. Or visit us online at generalrv.com to see all our available inventory and show prices. Thank you so much for watching. Jake back to you. Thanks Matt and Andrea. Make sure you guys stick around for more RV tours. We'll see you after this. Okay, Hans, is this on? Are you sure? It's on. Is it on? It's on. Where are we again? Are, we, are we in Idaho or Utah? Yeah. Yeah? That's yeah. not an answer. What? Oh my gosh. Somewhere. All right, can we just go? Let's We're go. Okay. okay, let's go. My name is Suzanne Talbot and I live in Preston, Idaho with my husband Jason and we own a toy hauler. We were in the market to buy some ATVs <laughs> and I didn't want to have to pull a second trailer if I, if I didn't have to and I liked the way the toy haulers are built and I needed the space. It just it makes it easy for us to just load up and go. He went down first and found it and then he brought me down to approve it. It was too much. It was too big. It was too nice. And now, I love it. Our trailer is perfect for us. If I imagine us leaving and going somewhere, I want it to go with us because it's our home away from home. I'm pretty fortunate of where I live. We're within five hours of Paiute Trail, Moab, Salmon, Idaho, St. Anthony Dunes, Island Park, West Yellowstone. We have Bear Lake that's just over the mountain. We're really lucky to have all of that so close to home. I love riding and being able to take in the view and not have to concentrate on the trail. From the minute we pull out of the driveway to the minute we come home, we're together 24 seven. And as much as we both work, we don't always get to do that often at all. And so these moments, it's the rest of the world can kind of go away for a minute. We have our time and our thing, and I'm so glad that she loves it as much as I do. Camping and RVing is something that we can do, and we want to do, and we dream to do for the rest of our lives. 
It's made our marriage stronger because we have something that we do together. Hey, welcome back. Up next, Matt and Becky are gonna walk you guys through a brand new 2021 Grand Design Momentum. We'll see you after this. Thanks, Jake. Hey guys, welcome back to General RV's Virtual RV Show. I'm here with Becky again, and we are standing in front of the brand new 2021 Grand Design Momentum 351, one of my personal favorites. Let's go check it out. Becky, show us around. All right, Matt, so here it is. This is the kitchen, which I absolutely love, this kitchen. Complete, huge walk around island. Wow. Love this. See that extension on the countertop? See that? One of my favorites. Please. Just gives you a little extra seating. You put some bar stools there. Great idea. It's pretty awesome. You got this nice big sink here. I like the modern faucet too. This, this caught my attention right away. This is new for 2021, which is amazing. Love the double door fridge. Can't go wrong with the double door fridge. You know, you can sleep about 10 people in here, so you're going to want a lot of... And that is a RV fridge, is what we call it, right? Correct. Okay, which yes. means what? So this is going to run on gas and electric. So I have both options to power it. Correct. Perfect. Yes. I'm not limited to just electric. No. I'm not limited to just gas. Right. Either or. Either or. Love this pantry. One of my also favorites. Which you usually don't get. I know storage no. storage in the kitchen is usually at a minimal. Especially in toy haulers. Right. Yeah, so this having all of that area plus a huge island and a pantry is pretty amazing. Great. And below here, workable counter space. Absolutely. An extension to the island, more storage underneath. Nice place for shoes. Kick your shoes off. I didn't even store see right that. Under there. What a great spot. Yep, right uh, at the entry door. That looks like the range I have in my house. Yeah, the Insignia brand is actually very, very nice. They're starting to use these more and more in some of our higher end fifth wheels that we're seeing. Um, I don't I don't know, there's not too many brands that are using them, but Grand Design is now using it. This yeah, year. and that's a, that's a common brand. I've seen that brand name before. Yep. Very nice. Yep. So All right, so before is? we go up into the bedroom, is that a built-in vacuum? That is. So this Grand Design does have a central vac system. Uh, so super easy to use, comes with everything you need, and... And it always seems like we're tracking the great indoors, or I should say the great outdoors <laughs> indoors. So that's perfect. Clean up after yourself. You don't have to grab a separate vacuum from home or anything else. Great, great feature. Absolutely, absolutely. Let, let's see the bathroom and the bedroom. Sounds good. This also, this is something important to point out. This is the brains of the RV before we go to the bathroom. Okay. This is gonna control everything. This is your command center. Any and every single thing that you need to do is controlled by this panel. But earlier, I think I saw you out on your phone, outside putting the awning in and out from your phone. That is correct. So that syncs up to this, I'm assuming. It and you does. can do everything. I could even do that. I'd prefer to do it in bed. Yep. So that what else does that control from there? From so the you can phone? do awnings, slides, jacks, um, your radio. Lights, right? Lights. lights. Yep. Air conditioner. Wow. So All from your phone. Everything from your phone. That's pretty simple. Pretty easy. Like that. Can't even do that at home. Right? <laughs> So here's your bathroom. I love this bathroom because the shower is huge. That is a huge shower. Huge shower. Glass. I also have a seat if I want to sit down and shave my legs. And nice glass, easy to clean for the door. 
uh, built in place for a couple of your shampoos and stuff like that. And then a nice big medicine cabinet. Great counter space too still. And then a nice big storage unit in the back behind your toilet. So you can put your towels, stuff like that back there. Great. And a porcelain toilet, it's important. Comforts of home. Comforts of home. On the road. Exactly. <laughs> bedroom? Bedroom. After you. Okay. So here's your bedroom. I do like this bedroom because it's a nice walk around bed. So I can change in here. A lot of bedrooms are very tight, but I have enough space to change. And all these awesome built-ins for all of your closet. That is a slide, so that is on a slide out, so that's gonna give, provide you with a lot more space. But even if you have the slide in, you could still get to the bed in for whatever reason yes. if you need to, which is nice. Absolutely. I think I saw earlier the bed lifts up. It does lift up. Is there lift storage up. underneath there too? There is some storage underneath your bed as well. Oh, and look at that. Bar stools for that <laughs> extension countertop and a table. And a table, that's for your garage. Very nice. Mm -hmm. It doesn't take up any room too. That's the best part of it, no, I think. No room. Uh, air conditioner in the bedroom. Right up top. Yes. And then I also see plugins. I see USB and 110 both on both sides. Absolutely. That's great. That is great. Very important to have nowadays with all of our technology. We are always charging and plugging in. And it's pretty hot out today. We do not mm -hmm. have the air running, right. but the windows are open. And I've noticed a great cross mm -hmm. breeze on that. So I see open there, yes. open down here. That's Absolutely. very nice. Yeah. Great feature. Absolutely. So this is crazy a four person couch and every single chair does recline. It also is heated and massages and it has this little light built in underneath. I see that. And mm -hmm. massaging? And massaging, um, heat and massage. On the end ones, right? Only on the ends, yes. It's a massaging seat. Can't, massaging seat. Can't go wrong there. Can't go wrong. And a fireplace. I see that, we have it on, no heat of course right no now, heat. so I still have it's the ambiance, but right? I don't have the heat. <laughs> we Perfect. don't need any more heat. And then you have all of your radio and stuff like that built in here. And obviously you can control that from your phone. Nice big TV. Assuming that's a smart TV it looks like too. I see real, real cool on it yep. at least. Very yeah. nice. Mm -hmm. More storage as we were talking More about earlier. More storage. And then you also have the loft. You see the loft built in up I here? I see it now. So a lot of people use this just actually for extra storage. You can obviously have somebody sleep up there. It does come with a ladder to where you can get up there. I have a lot of my toilet customers that really use this for their riding storage. I can really. understand that, yeah. You know? Yeah, but also great for kids too. I know my absolutely. son would absolutely love that. So. Oh yeah. And plenty of space. You can almost fit an adult up there if you really wanted. Oh, to. I can. I can fit up there. Yeah. yeah, you can fit up there. All right. So, so I've saved the best for last. My favorite, my favorite part favorite, is the garage. Which is by the garage. Far. So this is going to be a ten-foot garage. It does have um, a second bed up here. I see that. Then you have your couches during the day. Now at nighttime, this does fold out and you can make this into another big bed. And so you can have four adults sleeping out And here. these do have, I remember looking at this earlier, these have nice cup holders that flip out. Mm -hmm. They're pretty comfortable. Mm -hmm. And then that table that we saw yep. goes back here. Yep, I see those. And then mm -hmm. to make it to a bed, you just what, flip it over? Yep, flip it over, pull that leg out, and then, and then you have a bed. Same thing on that side. Same thing. How easy is that? Pretty easy. Great, and the bed'll top bed'll drop down. Mm -hmm. So it's bunks. Literally, I could have bunks in here. Absolutely. Now, one thing I know too is if we got the kids back here or anything else, they're always running back and forth to the bathroom. But I saw over in this corner, nice half bath. There's another bathroom in here. Yes. So that's perfect. So kids don't have to track in or in-laws or anything else. <laughs> right. That's great. My favorite features too, for sure. Good place for your in-laws. All right. Apparently. Is that a washer dryer <laughs> hookup? I'm assuming too, right? That is. Yeah. So you can put a stackable washer or dryer in here, or you could do a combo unit if you wanted to. TV in here TV. as well. Mm -hmm. Great. Okay. Now the patio, which got to have a patio if you have toilet. So you do have these, which are um, they're called three season doors. Yep. So it's gonna provide you with a screen, yep. but it also with glass, so these would slide up. Wow, glass. So you can keep your hot or cool in or out, depending on your temperature. And where they you're just at. slide open, it looks like, and right? It just slides open. And then it, I see the hinges up here, so I'm assuming mm -hmm. if I need to get my side by side or anything else in here, I can just open those up and. Correct, yep. Well, that's convenient. Mm -hmm. Now the patio is super easy to put out, stores very nice, just goes right into here. That was easy. And then you undo that. Okay. And then this one just goes here. So if you had kids, dogs, if you wanted to just trap them in, you could do that. Dogs. Dogs. Kids too, yeah. Kids. Under the age of uh, maybe two or three. Anything you wanted out here, you could just strap them in and now they can't get out. So a lot of people use this because a lot of people do have dogs while they're camping. 
so they can contain their animals yeah, back here. Yeah, absolutely. It's a nice open air experience. Yep. And it does have another awning out back. Okay. So if you were sitting out here during the outdoors, you can put your awning out and then, and then you would be covered and not so sunny. This is awesome. Yeah, this is great. Yeah. It's one of my favorite toy haulers for sure. They've done a lot of improvements throughout the year. This year definitely by far has been the best that they've done inside. And I know toy haulers are known to have a couple of things that make them so fun. One of them is being able to go off the grid. So yep. I know this one has a generator on it. It's a generator too. built in. So, but you need gas for the generator, right? It has a fuel station built in. So I got gas for a generator. What mm -hmm. about for my side by side? How do I fill that up? You have a, there's a fuel station built in, so you could just literally. So like a gas station, it's like got a, a pump gas, and everything. Yes, like a gas pump and everything. They really thought of everything on this for the everything. most part. Everything. So you have all your wow. fuel, you can go anywhere you want, and lots of toys. So being a toy hauler, obviously mm -hmm. I get my toys up into this garage. If exactly. If you're going to use it for a garage, that is. Correct. So this ramp that we're on right here, we call it, it looks like a party patio to me for the most part. Yes. But it doubles as the ramp. What's the capacity for weight as it's in this fixed position? And then also, if I want to pull my side-by-side -side up, does it have a weight rating? I'm sure it does, right? It does. So while it's in patio mode, like we're in right now, this is at 1,500 pounds. Okay. So now, that's 10 people roughly I could probably yeah. have out here. That's a good amount. A lot of amount. Now, when it's in ramp mode, when you're bringing your toys in here, you have it, it's rated for 3,000 pounds. Perfect. Well, that covers me. That should be okay. That's almost as much for... A little a car, car almost. Yes. You can't do cars. No cars in these. Side by sides only and four wheelers, bikes. Um, okay, so I see that door here. How mm -hmm. do we get out if I don't want to go off the back of the ramp? So there is another door right here out the garage. So we can go right out here and then we'll go look at the outside features. Perfect. Let's All go. right. So an immediate thing I'd like to point out are the steps. Yep. Nice. So these steps will never rust. Um, and then on the front step, they actually have added some stabilizer levelers on the bottom. I see those. So that's nice. It's not going to be rocky when you're going in and out. Um, obviously outside TV, outdoor speakers, you can control from your phone. You can play your music. Um, if you have music stored on your phone, right. you can do anything like that. Right. It does come with two awnings. So double awnings, they're, they run independent. So if you want one out, you can have one out. You can have both out if so you want them three out. awnings total, one on the back, one on the two back, on the side. Two on the side. Uh, frameless windows, yeah. which is really nice. They're really sleek, modern. But um, I noticed when we were inside also, there's a pretty good cross speed going on. And I see the side windows in the slide mm -hmm. are not frameless windows, but they open up almost all the way. Correct. Which is great. Yes. So in case I don't want to run the air, I still want that, that fresh air coming through. I can do it that way. Right. And it works quite well. Absolutely. Um, and then we'll go up to the front here. Right. So up in the front, we have this nice big storage compartment here. You can get a lot of stuff through there. Nice big pass through. It's all the way through on the other side. All the way too. through. This is where your central vac is. Gotcha. Okay. Um, now in the front, you have your onboard generator built in. So it comes with your Onan 5500 Gen. And that runs off the gas from my tank, correct? That's correct. Perfect. Um, your, you do have six point auto level and that um, hydraulic stuff is up in the front as well. Right. You're also gonna get a house battery that's in the front too. Right. Okay. Yep. And then on this side, this is going to be, you have propane, one on this side, one on the outside. You get two 30 pound tanks. And then you have this really nice docking station. So this is everything that you need to work your RV. Your Looking gray. up and everything, it's all right here. It's all here. Gray, fresh, black, jacks. So when you're taking your RV down, you're right. taking it home, everything is right here. It's all in one central location. Yeah, I see everything in here. So there's a power outlet. There's even an outside shower hookup in here too. Mm -hmm. Fresh water tank fill. All my pulls from my tanks are here. Mm -hmm. How House filtration that? system. That's even better. So that's nice. You just change your filter right here. Yeah, can't beat that. They made it really simple for us, didn't they? Absolutely. Uh, there is an exterior ladder too. So you'll be able to get to your roof. And then here's where your fuel station is for your toys. It's very awesome to have on board. Is it real? It is real. Phil. It is a real fill. Very neat. Now I see two tanks, right? Mm -hmm. And you said one's for the generator and the other one's for, I'm assuming, for this? For the Correct. Fill? Perfect. Yes. And then this must be, I need a gauge, right? Yes. There it is. Pretty easy to use. Pretty easy to use.
Thanks a lot guys for coming in and checking out this toy hauler with me today. Come on out to one of our 13 super centers, check out this and many more that we have in inventory right now. Or if you can't get down and come and see us, go to generalrv.com or give us a call. Jake, back to you. Well, that's a wrap for day four. Make sure you guys go subscribe to our YouTube and our Facebook for updates. We'll be back here on Saturday at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for more RV tours. We'll see you guys on the lot.